what I'm going to show you how to do is attach a uh, motor driver and an axon to a typical RC toy. So this is an RC toy that I bought years ago. It was like 15 bucks, and I took off the top. What you see here is this plastic plate. I just screwed some holes in, drilled it into the plastic right here, and then on the front I just took some screws, screwed it in real tight. There you go. So this plastic sheet also has uh, various holes that I drilled into it in locations to uh, attach my electronics. And then here in the back is where the two DC motors were located. So I just opened it up, took out the wiring. So these two wires are for one motor and these two wires for the other motor. All right. so RC toy, sheet of plastic drilled onto it, connected, there you go. Now what I have here is a dual motor driver by Dimension Engineering, it's called Sabertooth. Uh, basically you hook up the motors here and here, you connect the battery there, you connect uh, your control lines here and the ground. So I've already drilled some holes into my plastic. So all I could do is just uh, screw in the screws. Alright, the screws are in, so now we're going to connect our motors. So I'm just going to connect it arbitrarily on the right, or on the left of the driver. And you just stick the wires in, they're exposed already, so I just screw it in. So now these won't come out. I'm going to do it again on the other side. I could just stick either wire into either one. It doesn't matter. You could always change it in your software later. Screw those in. There, our motors are now hooked up. Now what I want to do is hook up my battery connection. So we have a B plus and a B minus. The B minus will be for ground. The B plus is for power. in. And you just screw those back in. Screw those in. Now I want to use serial control and if you look at the Dimensioning Engineering website, the Sabertooth website, it'll say that you're supposed to hook the ground wire into zero volts here for serial control and then your signal line goes into S1. Now there's other connections that, that could be used for other features of the motor driver, but we're not going to use those today. Now what we're going to do is take some spacers like these, four spacers, just going to screw them in. Now we could hook up our motor microcontroller. So this would be an Axon 1 and you could connect it the same way as the Axon 2 but today we're going to use the Axon 2 just because I feel like it. So it lines up on all those spacers and now we just screw it in. Now, microcontroller is in there. So now all we do is we connect the wiring. So what we have here is a uh, battery power to the motor driver. So I'm just going to connect it to here. Uh, it could be anywhere on this row right here. Uh, then I want to connect the uh, serial line because we're controlling it through UART. So black wire to ground. Signal wire, signal wire to uh, transmit, and I'll hook it up into UART zero. 
as you can see. Now, that's not all I'm going to do. Uh, I just want to connect uh, the battery line to the battery of the Axon. Is right now it's set for dual power, but I don't want to bother with soldering on uh, the solder trace for now. All right. I also want to use Bluetooth. You don't need to use Bluetooth. You could use USB, but I like Bluetooth. So we're gonna stick it in here. There we go. And Bluetooth. You want to use the 5 volt power, which is the top row up here. 5 volts. And because I feel like it, I want to use your 2 here. And you could, of course, find Bluetooth tutorial on the SOR website, societyofrobots.com. So if you want to learn more, it's all there, right? Now, the last step is a battery. I am using a 6 volt battery, 4.5 amp hours, nickel metal hydride. You could use any battery, but it should be at least 1 amp hour and at least 6 volts. Now I have all this wiring here and I've already twist tied that right there. I also want to twist tie it once more somewhere else so this wiring doesn't get tangled. I just twist tied it onto the spacer so now my wiring won't get caught with anything and the last step is battery so I just stick the battery in wherever over here batteries in now that we have our robot wired up and assembled we just flip on the switch two lights turn on well, three, you'll see a green status LED, you'll see the red power light, and you'll see a blue LED right here, which is for the saber tooth. Now, we also have Bluetooth in here. It's flashing red light, that means not connected. So what we want to do is go over to Hyper Terminal and click the telephone picture, which means connect. I've already set up the COM and BOD rates. Now going back to the robot, Bluetooth is now green, means we're connected. Go back in here. Now, I've already uploaded the program to the Axon. You could download the program straight from the Axon 2 website, along with all the other demo programs. So now what we're going to do is we're going to control the wheels using commands from the PC. So, for example, if I push W right here, it moves. And of course S for stop. Or I could go left, or right, or reverse, forward again. And I could also change the speed by just pushing this button here. So speed is now set to max. And I can go forward again. There you go. Remote control robot only took a few hours to make.